So I'm here with Metal Jesus Rocks because we are heading up to Northern Washington. Someone found a promotional Pikachu statue. It's about four feet tall, and so it's about my height. And we're gonna go pick it up. He reached out to me as a local collector, and he reached out to me thinking it would be something I want. He was correct. So we are gonna go pick it up. Woo! Now I'm pretty excited to go on this little trip because the guy's house that we're going to, his name is Steve. He always has a booth set up at the local retro gaming expos in the Seattle area. And Kelsey has hinted that he has an amazing video game collection. And if we're lucky, maybe he'll show some of it to us. So I'm here with Steve, he's a local collector, and he contacted me about this Pikachu, so let's go take a look at it. He's, uh, he's a little beat up. Get um. outside in the Washington weather. <laughs> So, he's but he's so all sad. there. He's all there. <laughs> so aside from being a really cool statue, this thing is pretty interesting because as far as I know, there's only 250 of them in the whole world. They were only given out or allowed to be bought by licensed World of Nintendo dealers back when like Pokemon Yellow was coming out. So this is a pretty cool little piece of history. And even if it's in not good shape, I'm excited to get it. That's awesome. I'm just gonna have to put a mask on him. Have you seen like the luchador Pikachu? I'm thinking about putting the luchador mask on him. Now, where did you get him though, originally? So, so this was a, a Craigslist deal. Um, we, uh, we, we, we went for a, a kiosk and included in the kiosk was this person's collection and this was included. You know what I'm seeing behind you? Look at these, speaking of kiosks. Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna invade your... Uh, okay. Is this what you picked up? Pokemon Snap? Uh, no, that was, I think that was like a couple years ago. Oh, okay. From the Portland. Jeez, you got a lot of kiosks. That's awesome. Wow. We were so intrigued by what we saw in this garage that we had to see if there was more to it inside. Maybe a really cool game collection? Do you have one? I do. Come on in. All right. Your game room. This is yes. nice. This is awesome. So walk us through some of your highlights here. All right, um, I've got uh, some uh, Pikachu N64. Right, Virtual Boy box. Okay. Yeah, I've got Virtual Boy, i got a Turbo Graphics. Uh, I've got a neon sign. Yeah, that's and cool. View. Ooh, where did these baseballs come from? Okay, so these, all these, all this stuff in here is pretty much found locally, so. Okay. Which is awesome living here. Yeah, yeah. So. Cool. <gasps> Ooh, I recognize yeah. that signature. So, so I have a couple of uh, baseballs. Of course, you know Ken Griffey Jr. was a spokesman for Nintendo at right. the time. So I have two balls that are actually autographed by Ken Griffey Jr. Wow. Wow. There's one in here too. So. Okay. okay, I don't want to touch this one, but I recognize the signature. Yes, this is my <laughs> uh, Nintendo 3DS Hyrule Edition uh, signed by Miyamoto. Okay, and I also have a uh, Final Fantasy uh, that was signed by the creator. Wow. So I got that at amazing. PAX. Yeah, he was signing at PAX a few years ago. So, uh, complete in box Shovel Knight. Uh, they were selling these boxes at, um, at PAX one year, and I got John Riggs to make me a cartridge. Oh, there oh, you go. That's cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Game Boy Advance sign up there too. Yes, I have. A Did you find both of these locally? Cool. Yes. What, yes. Like a garage sales or how that? Um, that was garage sale. This one was Craigslist. Wow. But this right here is kind of a unique item. At first glance, it may just look like a regular NES. You know, there's millions of them everywhere. But what what's special about this one is there's a port in the back here. So when I saw that port, I yeah. opened it up. I asked a few friends. You know, they knew anything about it. Nobody could tell me anything. But then I finally got a better look at the, the board that this is on. Yeah, is that an ethernet or a modem port? This is like a, uh, it's not an ethernet. Okay. Um, so on, on the card it says NW or NOA champ. Oh. So this, you know, a lot of people leave this was one of the consoles used at the NWC, World, Nintendo World Championships in 1990. Did you know he had this? I did. Oh, <laughs> he so, told me this yeah. was a part of the Pikachu. So this is it. This is going to be on display at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo Museum. Wow, so, that's incredible. This is a uh, this is an official uh, a prop that was used to promote uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I have a few pictures of stuff they give Nintendo employees when they retire <laughs> okay. or after they reach, you know, certain, um, you know, seniority. Yeah. 
Uh, one of my uh, other new, the authorized repair center signs. That's Very cool. cool. As you guys can see, Steve just has an amazing video game collection. He continued to show highlights of his game collection for probably an hour, and it wasn't just this room. He actually had a room downstairs. His daughter has an amazing game collection. It was pretty crazy. It continues to just blow me away that most of the stuff was found locally in the Seattle area both on Craigslist and at garage sales. That's the crazy thing about this area is that because you have Microsoft, because you have Nintendo of America and you have all these other game companies, sometimes you can get very lucky and you can find an amazing amount of cool retro game stuff. So you have two. I have two. This is, this is the good one. This is what it's supposed <laughs> to look like. Yeah, this is what it's supposed to look like. Well, he um, sure is prettier, but yeah. we'll see what I can do with the other one. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thank you so much for giving us a tour of this amazing game room. You're welcome. Thanks for coming by. Oh, there we go. Is it heavy? Uh, no, he's pretty light. He's just big. He's a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna trip over myself, though. No one help me. No one help me. I'm fine. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, mission accomplished. Now we're gonna head back into Seattle and hit up Kelsey's Pink Gorilla Game Store. The reason why she wants this one, other than the fact that it's obviously awesome, is because it's a companion piece to the Star Fox statue that she already has in her store. Let's see if I can get this out without scratching your car. <laughs> All right, he's going right next to his new buddy. Aren't they cute together? Yay! <laughs> All right, now look at that smile. That is a happy camper right there. Now, obviously it needs some work. It needs some paint. It needs some retouching. And actually Kelsey wanted me to reach out and ask you guys, if you have experience restoring one of these or something like it, what do you recommend she do? Like how should she get it back into the way it was? Love to know down in the comments below. Also, a huge shout out to Steve and his family for letting us come into his house and film his game room. Also, a shout out to his daughter who actually ran the camera. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and take care.